Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator where in the previous episode, well, we completed this mission here. This is the Mayor's Mansion and it is now clean and because of that we now are able to clean the carousel. This is the Muckingham Recreational Ground. Psst, Power Washer, I've just joined the travelling carnival pitching up at the recreational ground. You may have seen us. Purchased a beautiful classic carousel but I'm worried about being outgunned by the owners of the bigger rides. It's pretty filthy. Was going to clean it myself but then I thought, what would happen? if I give her a deep clean and really made her pop. I who want to slowly slide down a grubby helter skelter when they can waltz around in a pristine carousel, right? Make her ping and we'll both clean up. You'll arrive in a plain van, right? I don't want the competition to get the same idea. Five grand, sorry, 500 generic units of currency uh, to clean this thing and we have more than enough in our bank to do this and okay, it is actually functioning and spinning and thinging around. Brilliant. Rude not to take a ride. <laughs> and yes, yes, I am already going utterly insane with that music. So the horses do go up and down, and this does spin around. There you go. And I'm hoping that this button turns it off. It does. Okay, brilliant. Let's have a quick look around. We've got more gnomes. We've got tickets, popcorn, slam dunk, the shoot out wild west, and splish splash. That sounds like it's a power rally. Covered. Good. So there's all these things here that are just not yet set up. Oh, coconuts. Cool. We actually hit one so hard, I think it went through the back of the, back of the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's out. No, I thought it went outside. Uh, we've got Splish Splash. Oh, look, there's a, there's a wall in front of it. That one hasn't. This one's got a magic wall in front of it. Oh, disappointing. Uh, we've got Popcorn, Buttered Fresh. Yeah. This way. to the fun fair. Ah. Is that coming soon. Is that a little tip or what may be introduced in the future? Like a roller coaster? Hmm. There's uh, Big Nate's Hot Dogs. We've got Slam Dunk. More tickets over there. Yeah, fun fair. I mean, this is the fun fair, I guess, but yeah, I wonder if we are going to see more fun fairy type stuff in the future. Anyway, let's go ahead and have a quick look at our carousel. Um, I'm going to pick up this thing and let's see if we can get on top of it because, quite frankly, I just want to clean up top. Uh, first, I also noticed that the sun is uh, actually a little bit lower in the sky, and it's because that's quite pleasant. So, can we get on board? Yes, we can. Now, apparently, one of the in, uh, one of the improvements that has been made is that you can now stand on. Yeah, you can stand on the surfaces much better. Okay, this is good. Um, oh, a tiny little bit of cleaning. Hi, my name is Car uh, Kevin Bernard, proprietor of Weng Wolf Carnival's Helter Skelter. Please state your business. All oh, right, so he's noticed that. We are cleaning here, um, <laughs> so yes, we shall uh, have to be a bit careful. So attacking it with 25 degree once again means that we still have, oh, we still have rust on this. Right, okay, what I'm going to hit it with then is probably the 25 degree like that, and we'll get this as clean as we possibly can, and then we're going to go back with, is that rust? Yeah, and then we're going to go, right, so we'll clean it with the 25 degree nozzle I think that'll be the probably best way of doing this and then I'm going to hit it with cleaner I'm not going to be too precious on you know getting everything completely pristine clean until I've used uh, until I've went with the, with the cleaner and hopefully the cleaner will do it because we have done jobs in the past where I've been I've used all the cleaner <laughs> and I haven't been able to do it oh actually we've managed to clean that Without the, without the, without the need for a cleaner thing solution, um, we might be able to get away with the spiralizer. If we can get away with not using cleaner, and I'm certainly in favour of that. It costs money. Yeah, we can do that. This one might be a bit more difficult. Although not so much with this spiralizer. We are missing certain bits. Uh, oh, and under there as well that I've totally missed. This is the short extension that I've got going on here. 
but it seems to be quite fitting for what we're doing. There we are. Under there. Tiny little bit left. And there we go. Right, this one does have some horrible green mildew on it, but nothing that I think this can't cut. Oh, yeah, that's cutting through. That's cutting through. All right, so what's the best way of attacking this, then? Well, could we just stand at the bottom and use the long extension? Long extension. That's exactly what we can do. Make an interesting noise when we go down there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean like that, then I'm coming down to do that side. Probably the way forward. Let's go with the extra long extension. Does that help as well? Uh, it does, but it alters the... It really does alter what you can clean. As in... It's narrowing the beam a lot. A lot more than I think is desirable. Yeah, so we'll just do that. Ah! Oh, and each of these canopy sections are separate. I thought the roof was just one. Oh, in that case, that changes things then. We will clean this one section at a time. Just so we can get that. Yeah, okay. Obviously just giving these a light... A light clean. Some of this has rust on. And there we go. And then we'll go down the middle there. All to that side. Clean that. Go up to the top. And then attack it from this angle. Alright, nice. Okay. So, carousel. I know one of the things it is introducing in the game, it is being introduced, should I say, is a steam engine. Uh, I know that because I voted for it. <laughs> I know I know we don't take part in things like that. I just let things, things just crack on and whatnot. Don't really want to get involved that much, but... Yeah, as soon as I saw the vote between it was a steam engine and something else, I thought... I think my first thought was, why not both? <laughs> but it's like, if you're making me choose, well, obviously, we're going to go with the steam engine. Because steam engine. Although, upon voting for it, I immediately then start thinking a little bit more what actually that entails. And it's a steam engine. It's... It's going to be rust, isn't it? The whole thing is going to be rusty. <laughs> Which is annoying to clean in the game. So, lots of cleaner. Saving up all the cleaner I can for that mission. I don't know if that's been added with this version of the game. With this, uh, I think this is 0 0.5. I don't know if it's been added with that. Or with this one, should I say. But, yeah. In the future, perhaps? We shall see it. Is that nice and clean? Only on an 8% clean here. But naturally, I haven't done all of these because they've got bits of rust on it. But we'll just give a little bit of spray from both sides there, because why not? And we don't have to necessarily come back. I mean, we will have to come back this way, so there's no real point in doing that. So just cutting along there. Cutting in between these sections. There's no reason why we can't. Overcompensate there a little bit. Go back down. Tiny little bit of dirt. And then there we go. There's that. We we'll better just do this first. I mean, several times we've discussed different ways of cleaning. Whether it be working on one panel, going along, working on different surfaces, like cleaning all of the same metal to then put the cleaner on, or tacking it at longer range, using the nozzles, which obviously now is even more valid than ever. 
There's many ways you can approach it. And it's all about personal preference. At the end of the day, whatever you prefer is the best method. And as long as it gets cleaned and the customer's happy, then there shouldn't be any dramas, should there? I mean, there will be. But there shouldn't. And there we go. And this is the... This is probably the flattest... Apart from maybe the... The ground at the bottom. This is like the flattest surface we're going to have to deal with. Cleaning the horses is something I'm genuinely not looking forward to. I can imagine those being uh, quite intricate. Lots of detail on them. Well, there's some graffiti on that. So I just hit it with a very light spray. And we've got no umbrellas. Don't know what that was. I think something may have been there, but I sprayed it off, and then that's like a smiley face with with a cloud. Okay, or is it? No, is that the troll? F is that a troll face with a cloud? It could be. It could be. Either way. Um. Yeah. Back to that. It does feel like it's going to be a two-part problem, this. Maybe even longer. Let's find out. It'll depend on, obviously, time. How long it actually takes. This is going quite quick because, obviously, it's the flattest surface. Probably. On here. Not that that means anything, really. It just makes it easy for us. We might have to uh, might have some problems down below. But the fun will be in finding out. Naturally, a lot of this and cleaning, like the pole toppers and such, and uh, these it says castings. Oh, sorry, crestings, not castings, crestings. Um, those are only half clean because well, we haven't cleaned the front. So we'll have to do that when we're further down. So it'll be satisfying spring. Just a little bit of need to sort out. There we go, and then the last bit. This is canopy plastic. I would imagine originally this would be wood or maybe even canvas. But then again, I am not a I'm not a carousel engineer. Kevin, I see you've commenced work and that you are a pressure washer. Well, I mean, yes, good observations there, Kev. Well done. Uh, could you tell from the fact that I'm holding a pressure washer and are currently pressure washing something. Surely Stacey doesn't seriously think that cleaning her carousel will make it more attractive prospect than my towering helter skelter. Mate, it's the tallest thing around here. That's probably the helter skelter over there. It ain't built yet. Uh, we shall see about that. So I'm just going all the way around here to try and clean off majority of the dirt on the top so I think we will have to come back up here I think that's a fairly I think it's fairly inevitable but there you go right uh, fall damage has been introduced no it hasn't good so we've managed to clean the top part there let's go ahead and I mean that comes up quite nicely doesn't it that's the oh look at the intricate metal work there in the filigree Nice. This is just the uh, pole topper there, is it? And then you've got the cresting as well. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a hit with 
the extra long extension. The whole thing. Come down here. My aim being to... Do I even need the extra long, actually? Oh, no, you do. Long extension's fine. My main goal is just getting the thick off. Because then, I'm going to come back with either a metal cleaner or, most likely, I'm going to come back when I'm on that thing. Clean it from further up. I'm just going to go for both sides here. Oh, I'm actually getting the clean as well. well. That's edge casting trim. Oh, all right, okay. I don't want to get too invested in cleaning inside here because, you know, the whole point was to clean the top. That was the goal. So let's do that. I, I noticed that the dirt is so thick. <laughs> you can see the lights. The lights are so, they're so mucky that we have to wash them before they even come on. The, the muck is occluding the light. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you are. A bit of graffiti on this, this pole as well. Alright, it's fine. Just obviously working from different angles where we can. Under here. And as long as we like just cover the bits. I can figure out pull it up. Oh, that's cool. And this one as well. Now, as I said, the objective is to clean the top, so that's what we're going to do. Oh. I mean, we're going to have to try, aren't we? Oh, it doesn't matter. Of course, this isn't spin round. <laughs> this is the inside bit. We're going to turn it on and hold the pressure washer on there. You know that. You know that's going to happen. Let's see if we can legitimately clean it that way. There's some, some really caked on muck or rust. We got some over here as well. Seems to be some rust. Okay. So we'll come over here with the cleaner at some point. The cleaner does do a very nice job at uh, swatting that out. Just give these a little bit more. Just a quick once over while we're while we're working here. Yeah. One of the many achievements for cleaning the entire thing while it's still being on. Possibly. But I think with that carousel music going on for what could be an hour or longer, I think it would be several negative mental traits you would pick up by doing it. Certainly, if nothing else, you'd get an earworm and you would try to go to sleep and hearing that, uh, that music in the darkest hours of the night <laughs> as you wake up. The graffiti on this bit as well. Should be a little bit more thorough there. Nice and satisfying when you sweep across. I see I'm not being too careful because we are going to come back with cleaner anywhere. We're already up to thirty-one percent, but I understand there's a lot that I've missed. There's loads of little bits left over. But we'll come back to that. It's cresting trim that one. These bits that I haven't been able to clean because of the angle. We'll need to go. Where are the ladders? Or. Well, I'll be using that one. Maybe not from here, though. Ah, 
There's beverages, green tea. Now that, not a light, it's pure fennel. It's uh, the same thing as I had previously. Don't want to give you misinformation when it comes to beverages. Last thing I'm going to do. So, I'm almost finished on the outside trim. I'll try and work around this set a piece of scaffold that I've got up because I want to actually go up on that and clean up the top there. But I may have to shift it just to get access to this thing. I don't know how much metal clean it's going to require. I mean, we could probably do it without, but you know, it's there, we've got the money. Although there is a hard limit on cleaning products these days, which, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. It's nice, it's nice to have the option to buy them, and you know, the, the limiting factor is money, you know, if you don't have the money you can't afford the product. Um, all we have now is, there's a limited amount, and if, for example, like on the really rusty rally car, I'd ran out of it. It just made that twice as difficult when, you know, I could have bought it. So I don't know. I, I keep sort of altering my thoughts and feelings on that one. So I'm up the top here, and obviously we are attacking it from top down now, which means there's a lot of stuff that we're able to clean, whereas previously we weren't able to. Um, this is the cresting here. And some of it's like cresting panels, pole toppers. Both pole toppers are done. This cresting is not done, but I can't see what needs to be done. Nothing in here. So maybe it's just work down one step and then... Yeah, <laughs> I thought something like that would potentially be what it was. So, in all honesty, we don't need cleaner. We, we don't need cleaner on this thing, which is brilliant. Um, I'm just going to work around as best I can with this thing. So... There we go. Turn around there. Get that bit. Right, so we'll pick that up. Dump it there. It's like a reasonable position, I think. Yeah. And then we go from this side. Pull topper done. That pull topper is all done. as well. That was just, that's uh, pretty good. Bit concerning we won't be able to fit this in. No, we can fit it in. Don't know if we'll be able to go all the way around, but we shall find out. Apparently I've got an allergic reaction to stairs, I just can't use them there. Uh, <laughs> I'm great difficulty navigating those. Let's just work to the t from the top. Yeah, I'm getting caught on things. I'm going around. Pull the top up. Um, there's that. That one is really, really dirty. Let's get the spiralizer on that. I'm not pull the top of that. I'll go for the rest of it down here. Don't think I'll be able to move this around, actually. Oh, no, we can. We can. So it looks like this allowance has been made for that, which is good. So, go back to this one. That's classed as Paul Topper. All right, you know what? There's a lot of rust on this one, see that? So in this case, I think we will get some cleaning product on it. Just get the thick off first. Like that. Then around. 
And for... Oh no, that pole top has been sorted. Do we want some cleaning product? We might get away without it. We really might. I'm going to have to pick this up though and put it out there, I think. Oh yeah, look at all that. Okay, we'll make our life easy. So, soap nozzle, metal cleaner. There you go. You see how quick that works? Yeah. Obviously the disadvantage is that it sprays absolutely everywhere, so it's not a... It's going to be a problem one. It's not a... <laughs> <laughs> a direct touch. But it does the job for the most part. Just have to go up one set of stairs. Tin on that one, tin on that one. That pole top is in need of a bit of cleaning. I will work over there in a moment. Cresting is almost finished. There we go. Pole topper, I think, is just there. There you go. That pole topper. Oh, actually, it's just this bit of cresting then, is it? No, no, two bits of cresting. Oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, mistakes were made. So once you pick up this ladder, you can't just drop it on the ground, I don't think. You have to place it somewhere like... Well, somewhere not like there. That's the worst place I could have put it because that's on the bit I'm trying to clean. <laughs> so it's obscured the thing I'm trying to actually clean. But anyway. Yeah, look, it's giving me major problems there. Pull top's done. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm jumping, it's if you jump just at the top of your jump, you should be able to pick this thing up, but for some reason I'm not able to there. Oh, I'm not able to pick up any of it. That's curious. Now I can. I think it was because of the proximity to the uh, proximity to the other ladder. I say the other ladder as if there's two of them. The other height altering device. Right, that's clean. Yeah, there you go. So jump, pick up, and then jump up there. Break ankles. Right, we are now into cleaning in this. So I'm going to give it a go. Uh, what's that say? Uh, high voltage. No. On. 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 <sighs> so yeah, we can <laughs> turn it on. And... Get it cleaned. Oh, hang on. We missed bits. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> now, it would be better if we stood inside, surely. There you go. <laughs> this is sections that I'm completely missing. Uh, Blake. Uh, Blake, first, please check your job plan that is a matter of urgency, it says there. Uh, Kevin, yes, my health skeleton is filthy. So, this is obviously something they intended. Yes, this will affect performance, apparently. <laughs> you can see that on the top left as well, the, uh, the thing going up to show how much it's being cleaned. Right, okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll knock that off. <laughs> it did, did a good job, though. So, what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll get that clean then. Obviously there's bits that I've missed, but that's fine. It's got the majority of it clean. And the bits that I've missed, I'll just come back to and just do that, you see. I'm going to have to come back to clean this anyway. And we've got ceiling trims. There's the ring done. Just the ceiling trim now. Keep 
Huh? See where it is, though. There's just little, there's just little bits like that. There you go. Excellent. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and clean these uprights first. A lot of these have got rust on them, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hit those with the metal cleaner. Looks like the bottom here. These pole bases are fine. Yeah, you can clean those without any metal cleaner or anything. There we are. In fact, some of these poles were able to clean without metal cleaner. There we are. Some of those as well. Okay. Pole base. And because we're getting overspray, a lot of the flooring is getting done as well, which is good to see. There's the rust. Probably just use this to clean it, to be honest. Yeah, just a little bit of, a little bit of patience and you get it done, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to need cleaner. Pull this here. There we go. And if there's one little section that I've missed, I'm not particularly bothered. So we're going to come back to things. And one of the more useful features of the game is that it does tell you what you have missed. You are not hunting for it. You can just open your tablet up and it'll tell you. And especially when you get towards the last sections of it, it'll actually give you a little highlight on the top left to indicate what is needing doing. There's the rust there. And yeah, because we're, we're getting that uh, that stage where we... It's, it's pretty much 95% cleaned anyway. It just goes tink once we get a tiny bit of rust off. We are. And then it was just this one, wasn't it, really? Just slowly getting that off. There we are. Okay. So I don't think we need any cleaner on that one. Right. Okay, so that has been a little bit of Power Wash Simulator. I'm going to leave it there because, quite frankly, we're on 47% and the episode's getting long, so that's been a nice little bit of cleaning. Next episode, we'll finish it off. So it means spring all the top there, we'll then do the centre, and then, well, the horses and the rest of it. I don't know exactly what order we're going to attempt this in, but we will attempt it in, hopefully, some sort of sensible order. You can see this is, it says ceiling frame, not ceiling panel. Okay, so we know that, uh, yeah, they're all split into several sections, but because this is round, hopefully it's just a case of, oh, okay, now there's a lot more when you go to one side than I anticipated, so it means going to one side like that, spraying all of the really aged electronics with water while it's still activated, then going to the other side. Avoiding electrocution and then cleaning. Actually, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Well, either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Next episode, I will continue on with the the very, very important duty of cleaning. And also the very relaxing duty of cleaning. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.